Welcome to, <laughs> welcome to Chicago, 1926. I have to say, you do look absolutely amazing dressed like that. Thank you very why, much. Why are you done that like? I've been dragged out of our Christmas pantomime. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> this is 1926. We're meant to be in Chicago. Yes, there you is that. You haven't been born yet. No, there is that as well. <laughs> yeah. Do you find that the reality of life has now passed you by since we caught you on the roadshow? Well, unfortunately, as you can see, this is what I've been... A little bit of a downturn in, in the Schofield fortunes. Ever since that day, life has not I been I thought insane. you carried it off very well. Normally, the roadshow would have a very active, high-profile warm-up. Sure. A lot of leaping around sure. and whatever. And it's very important that I am on my feet and mobile and active during the warm-up. Jolly good. Well, of course, we did introduce you to one of the world's finest magicians. Yes. Um, and he has a big problem uh, with a key. Yeah, I tell you what, Philip, let's have a little look at it, shall the we? The worst moment of my life. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, live on the stage of the Radio 1 Roadshow... against my better judgment but I thought well there's a lot of people in here who would like to see my head come off what are you going to do yes yes of course you may show the trick carry on Fine. morning everybody I thought I wasn't gonna make it because I kept seeing spots before the eyes hold on of course, yes, he needs both hands for the trick. Sometimes three like that. I went to my doctor, he said, do you ever see four or one? I said, no, only six and three. He said, if you saw four and one like that, I could cure you like that, but he didn't. Went down to local, knocked back so many, well, I haven't got rid of the spots, at least I'm happy. That's it, that's the one. Is that it? Yeah. Great. He's good, isn't he? Oh, look at this. I'm getting a little nervous now, just between you and me. <laughs> Have you ever lost anybody, sir? Uh, it works about three times out of four. <laughs> How many times have you done it this week? Three so far. <laughs> Oh, a lot of people would have liked to have seen me come to an end like this, but... I think if you're going to do it, you're going to do it in front of 20,000 people. <laughs> well, see, I'll do it. Just, put, just put the fan letters in here and I'll read them later. It'll be more used around the back. <laughs> when it comes to the clock, but I can't see my watch here. If the, if the jingle suddenly starts... The... Does that same key do both sides? Yeah, the same key does all four lots to me. A show to do tonight, and I can't go at my show with this bloke in my guillotine. Is he joking or what? <laughs> um, Philip, can't you ad lib or something? Not from down here, I can't. <laughs> hey, I, I bet, I bet Tony Blackburn would have a good joke to tell. I bet, I bet he would. Are there any locksmiths around? Could someone go and get a locksmith? That, that's really awesome, uh, those big cutters, you know, those... Help! Help! It's only for that locksmith. I can't, I can't keep him wound up if I'm down here all day. <laughs> <laughs>
starts, I'm relying on you to keep the atmosphere going on your own, all right? <laughs> Listen, it's quite obvious I'm not going to get out of it before the beginning of the program. Here are the pips. Really go for it, OK? Well, that's the way it goes. I can't even turn around and do Roger for a piece of music. <laughs> On behalf of the Noel Edmonds Saturday Roadshow, your summer got your Oscar. Only one person would jeopardise the beginning of the programme, and that's Noel Edmonds. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's, uh, Thank you very much. It's very good. That was extraordinary. I, I, I think the most extraordinary thing about it was that everyone at Radio 1 from the controller, Johnny Beerling downwards, was in on it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Philip Schofield, got your Oscar. Thank you, Philip. Very good. Now, the question has to be, we, we've had Eamon Holmes, we had the amazing thing with Emily Hughes, we've now had Philip Schofield. Can we top that? I've got a funny feeling we're on a winning run. John Leslie goes to do a video for a uh, programme about motor theft. And the police turn up, and they're not happy with him. <laughs> oh dear, I may got the police car. Have you got this on tape? He does have where I can see them. Come on. Mr. Mess, well done, you've done it. Yes, I've got them exactly where I want them. Keep your hands up, you bum. <laughs> okay, go and get me some backup. Use my personal code letters. Right. N W Y W W A H B E. Right. What's that mean? Never wash your windows with a hard boiled egg. <laughs> what do I call for? Four squad cars. Four squad cars? Yes, 20 rad police with shields. 20 rad police with shields? Nine black marias. Nine black marias. Anything else? No, that's all. Oh, by the way, when you're at it, give me some bullets for the gun. <laughs> <laughs> It's now locked. Excuse me. Can you pick up your phone, please? <laughs> Can you pick up your phone? Hello? Hello there. I have a piece of paper in my pocket, Edmonds. <laughs> and this piece of paper has on it a list of oh, people that you've done. <laughs> Laurie Hungerford, remember that one? Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. Peter Snow, Bruno Brooks, Simon yeah. Mayo, Gary Wilmot, <laughs> Kim Wilde, Alan Titchmarsh, John Craig. Uh, All those people, Noel. Yes. Philip, I've always, said, I've always admired your work, Philip. Yeah, too late now. I, I particularly like that, that Europe thing you do when you travel around. I like it very much. All too late now, Noel. 
<laughs> Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to get out of that phone box in 15 seconds. Yeah? Your phone box will self-destruct in 15 seconds. Oh, no! Entertainment on BBC One. Birds of a feather. Blimey, it's Alice Cooper. <laughs> Diane Keaton stars in Baby Boo. Are you telling me that I inherited a baby from a cousin I haven't seen since 1954? Christmas bread. A man makes wearing pajamas are, and my pajamas are upstairs. Your pajamas are upstairs because you don't want any holdups in that shed. Science fiction in Flight of the Navigator. Wish you were in a hostile alien environment. Yes. A murder mystery, artists in crime. This is your home. What we may have to do may not be that pleasant. Last of the summer wine. <laughs> I'll have a raspberry ripple and a chocolate. <laughs> Christmas entertainment on BBC One.